The intention of the Alternative Throne speech is to really walk you through what we will be doing in this session across the next four weeks. Uh, and you're right about the number of Mondays. However, the introduction of a new private member's bill can happen on any day of the week. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to signal uh, that the bill is coming, to be able to talk about uh, what will be inside of it. Uh, and so you will see introduced the private member's bills that have been outlined inside of this alternative throne speech. Yes, uh, I've sat down uh, a couple of times with the new government house leader, um, and I hope that we are going to be able to have an effective uh, session in the legislature uh, debating things we uh, agree and strongly disagree with. So certainly, uh, affordability is a major issue for Albertans, uh, and the Inflation Relief Act, although it hasn't been introduced, uh, the Premier signaled a lot of the content during her televised address. Uh, we're hearing uh, from many, many of the two million Albertans who were left out of the Inflation Relief Act. Uh, I imagine that we will have a number of amendments to make during the debate of that piece of legislation, uh, and how the government responds to those amendments may dictate uh, our support or opposition to that piece of legislation. Um, Certainly, as we go forward to sit in the legislature, we're looking for places where we can all agree. Uh, I anticipate that the government uh, will support us in our call for action on, on grocery prices and a motion we'll be bringing forward. I think that's an area we can find common ground. Uh, and the support for some of the private members' bills that we'll be bringing forward, including investment certainty. This is something that the UCP government should be looking for as well. Perhaps they will support that private members' bill, support for public health care as well, uh, introduced by our leader, Rachel Notley. So I think there is a lot of opportunity uh, for agreement to be found, uh, and where there is disagreement, we will disagree uh, vigorously.